I would like to introduce a good friend of mine. Many of you will remember as your first game director on World of Warcraft. He's one of the greatest game developers in the world. He is the game director on Overwatch. Give it up for Mr. Jeff Kaplan. Jeff Kaplan served as, until his recent departure, the Vice President of Blizzard Entertainment. But for Overwatch fans not tuned into Activision Blizzard's corporate hierarchy, he may most humbly be known as Jeff from the Overwatch team. That's how he introduced himself at the start of every developer update video, a greeting that downplayed his status as game director and emphasised that Overwatch was a team effort. But while he didn't shout them from the rooftops, his achievements speak for themselves. Jeff Kaplan was, for 19 years, one of Blizzard Entertainment's most vital and important innovators. My name is Jeff Kaplan. I started at Blizzard in May of 2002. I'm Jeff Kaplan. I'm lead game designer on World of Warcraft, The Burning Crusade. Blizzard recruited Kaplan in May 2002, specifically to help it expand into a whole new genre, the MMORPG. Back at the start of the millennium, the studio's experience was predominantly in the real-time strategy space, and the team lacked the expertise to help inform the company's next venture. At the time, Kaplan was a huge EverQuest player, and his actions as part of the prominent Legacy of Steel Guild caught Blizzard's attention. The studio invited him to a series of lunches. With hindsight, what I didn't realise at the time was that those guys were interviewing me for a role with World of Warcraft. Kaplan recalled during an interview with Game Informer. Six months later, Kaplan joined the World of Warcraft team, helping design quests for what would eventually become the genre-defining MMORPG. A significant part of the reason behind World of Warcraft's success was its approach to questing, something Kaplan helped shape with his design partner Pat Nagel. The very first thing that I added to the game was some of the earliest quests in Westfall. Probably my legacy is going to be the Green Hills of Stranglethorn quest. You had to collect 18 pages. If I just put the story in the game, nobody's ever going to want to read it. If I had all these pages and I made them tradable, then it would create this whole social dynamic for people trying to complete the quest. All I did was succeed in annoying everybody and putting a really crappy quest into World of Warcraft. After several promotions, by 2008, Kaplan became World of Warcraft's game director, leading the charge on what is still, to this day, considered one of the series' landmark expansions, Wrath of the Lich King. I find that as one of the lead designers on the game, it's, it's usually better off if I don't mention exactly who, who my characters are or, or which classes I'm playing but I assure you I'm playing your class. <laughs> but Kaplan left World of Warcraft behind the day Wrath of the Lich King shipped. His new calling was, naturally, lead game designer on a new MMO that was in the works. He was the guy Blizzard employed for his MMO expertise, after all. This new project was going to be the most ambitious thing Blizzard had ever made, and its working title reflected that, Titan. But Titan would never see the success that World of Warcraft did. In fact, Titan infamously would never see the light of day. After years of troubled development, the project was cancelled. And in the desperate struggle to make something, anything, from the ashes of Titan's design, Kaplan came up with what is, undoubtedly, his greatest achievement at Blizzard, Overwatch. There was a, a point in time when we decided to move away from Titan and onto Overwatch, and probably the hardest thing was, you know, knowing when Titan was not going to work out and not be successful and you know sort of when to pull the plug on the project. Kaplan was enamoured with the class designs and RPG abilities that fellow designer Jeff Goodman had created for Titan. I started thinking about a more tightly scoped game using that Jeff Goodman concept of dozens of classes with abilities, he explained in an interview with Edge magazine. Kaplan envisioned a game in which these faceless classes became playable heroes with names and backstories. But rather than an MMO, this would be a PvP shooter. An in-house demo led to full development, and Overwatch would eventually be revealed at BlizzCon in 2014. We wanted to make a game in a genre that we have always been passionate about at Blizzard. So what Overwatch is, it's a team-based multiplayer shooter that is completely action-packed. Its fresh new world and innovative rethinking of MMO and MOBA-style class abilities as shooter mechanics quickly won the hearts of fans. As Overwatch's game director, Jeff Kaplan became something of a community celebrity. Following in the footsteps of Hearthstone's game director Ben Brode, Kaplan made himself the face of Overwatch. Oh, and it looks like the whole team has the Timmy spray locked and loaded. So this is obviously like a pro-level group we've got here. 
you know, not just your average slackers, but a really high, highly coordinated bunch that we're looking at. His friendly, mild-mannered personality was endearing, and he was soon lovingly known as Papa Jeff by the community. Kaplan has always taken this in his stride, ever happy to join in on a meme, even going as far as to sit by a fire in near silence for an eight-hour festive livestream just for the fun of it. I like my cookies like I like my Overwatch with plenty of salt. But it was really Kaplan's innovative approach to communication that made him such an effective face for Overwatch. His developer update videos are, to this day, the gold standard example of direct transparency with a game's player base. On a semi-regular basis, Kaplan would explain in clear detail the changes coming to Overwatch, and why those changes were being made. He used straightforward language, so the updates felt like a friend talking with you, rather than a marketing team talking at you. This is Jeff from the Overwatch team, here with another developer update. Yes, we're still in the quarantine. I hope you and all of your loved ones are doing okay and everybody's hanging in there. All this made it easy to understand the thinking behind Overwatch's many alterations, and invited players to feel like they were part of the decision-making process. There's perhaps no better example of this than Roll Queue, the team composition system created after years of back-and-forth debate between players and the Overwatch team. Combined with being ever-present on the Blizzard forums, there was a constant sense that Kaplan cared about Overwatch's players, or at the very least was actively listening to them. And even in moments when the conversation could become exceptionally heated, Kaplan would be there answering questions. Bastion. I don't know if this is a declaration of anger against the hero, or perhaps some deep fantasy of this, this person. That is your business, and uh, you have the right to express your feelings in the IGN comments, and I'm sure everybody appreciates that. It always felt as if players were part of Overwatch's development. It's hard to imagine this would be the case without Kaplan's particular approach, and Blizzard would be ill-advised to abandon the strategy going forward, especially in regards to Overwatch 2. No matter what approach the company takes going forward though, Blizzard won't be the same place without Jeff Kaplan. But it's also important to remember that Kaplan never saw himself as the ivory tower leader on his projects. He was always Jeff from the Overwatch team, never Jeffrey Kaplan, game director. His developer updates would regularly champion his colleagues, be that the design decisions of Aaron Keller, the heroic creations of Jeff Goodman, or the lore drops of Michael Chu. Kaplan was a team player, and, at least as outsider perceptions go, seemed to foster that approach among his peers. And as Aaron Keller steps up as game director, it seems sensible to expect at least some of Kaplan's spirit to remain. You're serving this up to the guy that is like, unintentionally leaked information and in past <laughs> Interviews. <laughs> you can do it officially now. Over 19 years, Jeff Kaplan has been one of Blizzard's most important voices. Recruited for his passion, his work helped shape one of the core pillars of not just World of Warcraft, but modern MMO design. His strength of vision helped rescue Blizzard's most notable disaster and turn it into what is arguably the developer's most significant mainstream game in Overwatch. And as head of that project, he refined communication between developers and players in a way few other studios have been able to replicate. He will be missed. But, just like Blizzard superstars Mike Morheim and Chris Metzen, who also stepped away from the company in recent years, Jeff Kaplan leaves behind him a legacy of hugely successful creativity and innovation that has inspired not just those at Blizzard, but studios all over the world. I can't help but think of all the moments of actually working on the content. The nostalgia of playing is always mixed with the nostalgia of making the game and the great people that I was so fortunate to make the game alongside of. For more Jeff from the Overwatch team, why not check him out responding to IGN comments or critiquing our Overwatch skills?